This video will show you how to calculate someone's age in Excel using a date of birth. Here in cell B1 I have today's date. Here in cell B3 I have someone's date of birth. To calculate their age all we need to do is subtract the date of birth from today's date and then divide it by 365.25 to get the number of years. So the formula is equals open parentheses today's date so I click here on cell B1 minus the person's date of birth so I click here on cell B3 closed parentheses divided by 365.25 the reason it is 365.25 and not just 365 is to take into account leap years if I hit enter I'll see the answer of 39. Now I happen to know that this person is not yet 39 but rather they turn 39 in October so if I show the answer here to one decimal place you'll see that in fact this person is 38.8 years of age and with age we tend not to round up no one wants to be older than they really are so to get around that I will change the formula so that it rounds down the answer. I'll do it separately first to show you the round down function in Excel and then I will incorporate it into our existing formula. Here in cell C5 I will round down the age answer that we were given in cell B5. The formula to do that is equals round down open parentheses then I select the number 38.8 by clicking on cell B5 here then press comma and then I specify how many decimal places I wish to round the number down to which in this case is 0 because I don't want to see any decimal places at all so I type 0 followed by a closed parenthesis and then hit enter and you can see now that the age is 38 if the answer in your cell says 38.0, just click on the decrease decimal button until no decimal places are displayed. Now to incorporate that round down function into our initial formula, I'll click into the cell where the formula is and position my cursor to the right of the equal sign and type round down, open parentheses, now the number we want to round down is the answer to the formula we have already created there so I'll leave the rest exactly as it is and I'll come to the end of it and then type a comma then I tell Excel how many decimal places I want it rounded down to which in this case is zero so I type zero followed by a closed parenthesis so the final formula is equals round down open parentheses open parentheses B1 which is today's date minus B3 which is the date of birth closed parentheses divided by 365.25 comma 0 closed parentheses and then if I hit enter you will see that the age now says 38.0 instead of 39 and again if I click on the decrease decimal places button up here it will remove the decimal place. Now here's one final trick. If you don't want to have to keep typing today's date to see the person's updated age as time progresses, as days, weeks and months go by, there is a function in Excel that calculates today's date. So let me just delete the date that I typed here in cell B1 and replace it with this formula equals today open parentheses closed parentheses and then hit enter and you can see that it's given me today's date. So if I were to save this spreadsheet and open it up again in a month or a year's time then the date would automatically update and so would the age here in cell B5. I can also incorporate that today date function into my age calculation formula here in cell B5. To do that I simply need to replace the B1 in my formula with today open parentheses and closed parentheses.
So I'll position my cursor next to B1 in my formula and press the delete key on my keyboard twice to remove it. Then type today, open parentheses, closed parentheses, and then hit enter. And that age will now update any time I open this spreadsheet with the current person's age. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this tutorial useful.